Hi everyone and welcome to a new House webinar. I'm Tori and I'm from the international marketing team here at House. In today's session, we wanted to talk about budget and share some strategies for ensuring clients feel confident about your fees. Clients often don't have experience with renovation costs. According to the House and Home Survey, 77% of homeowners say they had a budget in mind when planning their project, but nearly 50% go over budget. Consider these recommendations from industry leaders to help reframe your clients' expectations. It's fulfilling to earn a living doing work you love in an industry you are passionate about, so it's important to price your services accurately to meet your customers' budgets while generating a reasonable profit. Determining how much you price can be a challenge, but finding a system that works for you is essential to long-term success. A client's budget and their perceptions of value your business offers can have a huge impact on whether they hire you and can affect your professional relationship as the project progresses. That's why it pays to follow these simple steps to make sure your customers feel confident they're getting value for money. In today's webinar, we'll cover the following topics. How to create a budget, how to choose the right business model for your company, how to track your time effectively, and how to optimize your pricing structure. We've also created a handy worksheet to help you generate more revenue while fully meeting your clients' needs. It'll be available to download at the end of the webinar. Clients are often unsure about whether to go with a lower cost service or one that is the top of their budget. Some guidance from you can help them make them feel more confident about their decisions. Studies show that homeowners appreciate transparency when it comes to estimated project costs. Rather than withholding your pricing, consider quoting a prelim preliminary price with an exploratory question for more dialogue. A spokesperson for the Appraisal Institute recommends creating a budget based on the approximate value of each room as a percentage of the overall value of the home. This is especially helpful since it's a neutral way to discuss the budget, particularly if a homeowner presents a budget that you know is insufficient for their wish list. When it comes to provide a proposal or an estimate, being thorough can provide the context and transparency that a potential client seek. Using House Pro's proposal or estimation tool can make it easy to quickly recreate these documents for potential clients. You can create your first estimate in minutes and start winning more jobs. Add professional branding and a few clicks and send your estimate for client approval on mobile or desktop. Show your clients the distribution costs. It will help them understand what's driving the project cost to help them make an educated decision about where there's an opportunity to make adjustments on spending. Also, an important thing to remember is that quality is key. Clients are often unsure about whether to go for the lower cost service or one that's at the top of their budget. Some guidance from you can make them feel more confident about their decision. I explain what they get for my time, essentially how I save them money in the long run and help to prevent them from making costly mistakes, interior designer Natasha Burton of NB Interiors UK says. I make them aware that quality does not does come at a price and it's a false economy to go cheap. I also explain that from past experience, going cheap can cost more overall as you have to replace items sooner. It's part of my core values and that's why I try to convey to all my clients. Whether you choose a fixed or hourly fee strategy, it's important to be consistent. Any changes to this could reduce your client's confidence. This is one of the most common questions businesses face, whether they're just starting out or facing changes in their costs. While there's no easy answer, doing a few key, easy but key calculations can help you begin to estimate how much you need to make in order to sustain your business and earn a reasonable level of income. The fixed rate pricing model is pretty straightforward. A fixed rate price strategy means you set a price and keep it constant for an extended period of time. The strategy contrasts a dynamic pricing model where prices fluctuate over time due to hourly rates or sales discounts routine, routinely occur. But charging by the hour is a common pricing strategy. As you'd expect, it's trading your time for money. If you charge an hourly rate of £100 per hour and you work 15 hours on a project, your client will pay £1,500. For the hourly rate, it's a bit different. 
First, figure out how much you want to make in a year. Consider your profit and growth and the salary you want to take home. Then figure out what overhead costs per year, which includes anything you need to keep the business in operation, including insurance, rent, trade groups, utilities and equipment costs, including maintenance. Next, you need to find the job costs, like materials, staff salaries, including benefits to your staff, subcontractors, and even petrol. Add the profit, salary, overhead, and job costs to find out the total yearly cost of doing business. Once you have that figure in mind, estimate how many jobs you think you'll get and what size they'll be. Be conservative at first. Divide the cost of doing business by the number of hours or projects you or your business will work, and there you have your billable rate. Gemma Hill of Bayswater Interiors said her firm uses an hourly pricing structure as they feel it's fair for both parties. Clients only pay for what we've provided, she says. In the past, we've had projects where clients have increased the scope of our work or changed their minds unexpectedly midway through the process and expected us to start again to incorporate their new ideas, which ended up costing us money and lost hours. This way, we're invoicing for work completed and not are not out of pocket, and this is clear and fair to the client throughout. Caroline, another professional on the other hand, prefers a fixed pricing structure. When we put together our fee proposal, we estimate the amount of time we'll spend on a project using similar jobs as a benchmark, she says. Once we've given the fee proposal, our fee doesn't change unless the scope of work changes or there are unforeseen circumstances. We would then discuss that with our client to adjust the fee if necessary. Not all projects are equal and you can charge a premium for taking on work that others can't or won't. Decide how much profit you want to earn to make it worth your time to do the project. Rusty Borders of KOH Construction says, the difficulty, complexity, and time required for each job will determine the profit margin. For example, a simple exterior paint of a home should yield a 10% profit. A room extension on a hillside with rocks to move, electrical and water lines in the way, and many more details will demand a 30% profit because you'll spend a lot more time and the risk is greater. When you spend your time on a higher risk project, you should get a higher return. The most accurate way to illustrate a fa fair pricing strategy is by tracking your schedule. This works for both hourly and fixed models, as it can be done ahead of time or during the project. We use our diary to schedule where we'll be spending time on which product projects, Caroline says. This schedule helps to inform the fixed price her business provides ahead of a project commencement and is a clear way of conveying the thinking behind a fee structure. I use the House Pro stopwatch and track my time for each project, Natasha says. This is a great way to see how long certain projects take. It also ensures I'm pricing correctly for similar future products. So what is the stopwatch House Pro feature? The time and expense feature allows you to effortlessly log expenses, add time entries, invoice clients, and track team members' hours. House Pro has built-in time tracking and billing software that will streamline and revolutionize the way you work and ultimately create the success and profitability of your business. With House Pro, you can track your time in two ways, with the stopwatch function or by adding a new time entry. Everyone wants more revenue, but raising prices can turn off existing or potential customers. Here are five options to increase your business revenue without simply charging more. Cross-sell. Sell additional complementary products or services to existing customers that don't compete with your main offering. For example, a landscape architect could serve as a dealer for hot tubs to gain commission when clients want to incorporate this feature. Bundle with other pros. Combine your services with another provider. Team up with other designers and builders to sell your services together. You'll capture leads who are looking for one team to handle everything from start to finish. Bundle your offerings. To convince a client to take on a project with a larger scope, try offering them a discount compared to if they handled the whole project on the smaller phases. Upsell. Convince a client to upgrade to higher level of service. If, this, if their need would be best met by a larger scope, you can educate them on the benefits of taking on a big, bigger project or receiving more professional assistance. Or add-ons. Include a service that is related to what the customer is buying and amplifies the value of the project. Some add-ons could be photorealistic rendering or more detailed plans beyond the basic requirements of the projects. 
Before wrapping up this webinar, I wanted to share with you a worksheet that we've built for you about pricing. Tiered pricing is a strategy that can help you generate more revenue while also fully meeting your clients' needs. Tiered pricing works by replacing the one-size-fits-all proposal with multiple options. To create your tiers, begin by listing all of the services you could possibly offer, then group your services into three distinct levels. The highest price package should include everything you have to offer, with the lesser packages including fewer services. Most people will choose the middle package because they don't want to select the least expensive option but may not feel ready for the most expensive option. However, the lower price package still needs to have value, so you can still deliver exceptional results no matter which option they choose. If your business handles design and construction, you could offer tiers relating to the handling of multiple phases of the job. A different way to incorporate this is to sell based on levels of service and how much help the client needs with the project. In this worksheet, we'll walk you through building your three tiers of services so you can implement this on your next proposal. To help visualize, here's a sample of the tiers you can produce. The worksheet is linked in the landing page so you can download it and share around. And that's all for today's session. I hope you found it useful. We've linked all the relevant articles in the description of this video. If you have any questions, contact us via support on the House Pro page. Thanks and see you soon on House Pro.